How many did that hold? Do you know a couple of thousand? Not that many. But um, it, 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 it wasn't like that. It, it, I think it was 93, 94 that got knocked down. Mm. And what's been your best years at Uddersfield Town then, when you say your best memories? It was when come and uh, I never thought I'd see my team at Premier League. Never. Mm. It was just staying Championship. And then when he come, he just the, the whole mindset changed. It was like, he did little things like, he trained on a night when they're going to have a game. Sounds daft, doesn't it? Mm. But um, if you play on a Tuesday night at quarter to eight, it'd make him train at quarter, to, at quarter to eight on the night yeah. to get him used to playing. Because, you know, you're training in the afternoon, but you play on a night. So he, he got him used to training. Playing you, little, little things like that. And he got a lot of lads from uh, Germany, you know, like lower league Germany. Because mm. a lot of English players, they have this fear mentality of like, oh, we're playing someone, so, ooh, we're going to get hammered. These Germans just felt, you just play. Get on with it and, just you know, it attack it, you know. Yeah, 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 and Wagner yeah. always liked to play it out from back, so you get your full backs going outside, your centre midfield come in, take the ball, play it out from back. And um, the, obviously it was a dressing room, like Klopp, because mm. Dave Wagner is uh, Klopp's, Klopp's best assistant. mate. Yeah. And I thought they were an assistant. Did they work together? Yeah, or? he was his best man at his wedding. Yeah. Wagner were They Klopp's. weren't, they didn't, they didn't coach at the same time. They did, same, yes. Did they, they coach were, the same time? They Dortmund and that were it. Kl Klopp were the top one. Yeah. And I think he did the under, not the reserves, the one below that. Hmm. But, he, you know, he's still, obviously, he's very, you know, very powerful. Does he have the kind of same philosophy as Klopp? You can see that, you know, it's Klopp's high press. Hmm. Not mean defend from the top. Yeah. And we, Energy obviously, you know, we, we try to do all that, which we did at Championship. But in the playoffs, we didn't score a goal and we got promoted. <laughs> Two penalty shootouts. You know what I mean? So, well, Bielsa plays high press though, doesn't he as well? It seems to be like a... He's, he's very good as Bielsa, but mm. I mean, I can see there's a lot of um, animosity you now with fans because of this Bamford. And uh, yeah. why is he not playing this Eddie up front instead of Bamford? They don't realise that. Look at the work Bamford does off a ball. Mm. Eddie didn't do that. Eddie's a striker. Mm. You know what I mean? They're like Lineker. Bamford, Bamford will run round and work. And that's what work. Bielsa wants. Mm. He, he, the two different players. Yeah. But your striker should score goals. Bamford's that, not scoring goals. Why not play Eddie? The only thing with Bamford for me is he just don't finish. I think he does a lot of work. Got, it's the work rate. Mm. And that's where, and he's sticking to his guns because mm. he knows it's splitting the size now. Because I know a lot of leads. Yeah. On the, uh, and he's saying that, you know, it's splitting the size now. Why are you not playing Eddie? But Bamford's doing all the work. Eddie's coming on, he's scoring and he's getting all the plaudits. Mm. You know what I mean? But he's sticking to his guns. I think it's the link up play though as well. <coughs> it's more than anything. It's yeah. Bamford's not just work rate. Uh, when we took Bamford off when he were injured last game, or one of the last games, we just had nothing. Like we got dominated that whole second half because I felt like we just can't link up play with, with Eddie as well as you can with Bamford. He's not holding up. He's almost a bit mm. like. Um, I always get the feeling this year though we're gonna are we gonna do the same as next year and burn out towards the end. But the thoroughness that this bloke does is it's frightening. How we can he'll look at a player and what he did at his other team, how many passes he did, how many shots he did, blah blah, mm. and he knows exactly what they've done. Mm. You know what I mean? That's that's phenomenal. So the guy knows his stuff and his stutter. Mm. You know what I mean? He's good. He's very good. It's attention to detail, isn't it? I mean, nothing's left unturned, but mm. people now are knowing it's high press. So everybody's sit, you've got to know that everybody's sitting back because mm. they know they're going to counter. But you know, what I mean, we've got pressed in at home on Saturday. You could do us a favour there. We you? could do you a favour, but um, you, you know, we've got this, these Cowley brothers have come in and just absolutely transformed. You were in team. a big, you were in big trouble at the start of the season. You were in big, big trouble. Well, obviously. It was this German, and they mm. thought they'd do this, what Wagner did. Mm. It was the same yeah. coach as what Wagner did in Germany. It's the same team, Brescia, Dortmund, and uh, he, um, he tried to do the same thing, but he, 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 what, what players were saying was, it's, um, it's like a PE teacher. Mm. You know what I mean? There were no team spirit there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wagner had this team spirit. He, we saw Wagner when he, uh, mm. when he won. He'd, you'd see him running around the touchline and joining him, celebrating and that. He's almost like a leader, though, isn't he? If you, you want to die I mean? for somebody, and, and that's what Wagner did. And, did he? Yeah. You know, you had, you know, you had players who do anything for him. So, mm. and then, in terms of going to games, what's yeah. been your favourite ground you've been to? The new Tottenham ground. What, just have you been to it already? Yeah, it's, 
yeah, the Premier League. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, yeah, but did they, did they have it open at the Premier League yeah. when you were in it? Yeah. We were, I think we were the second one of the whole when it opened. Mm. And uh, it, was, it was amazing. They had this stand behind goal and it was like, I think they've got 17,000 and it was like, are they trying to get it like Borussia Dortmund? Mm. And it's oh, it brilliant. Brilliant. There's a thing in there in the bar. Yeah, I've seen that. Well, um, you go, you put your, you put your glass on there and it comes up foot bottom. Yeah. I'll, so, uh, I'll have to tell you a story. Here, so, <laughs> well, how come? It, how does it stay in? And they have this little thing. She goes, "Well, stick your finger at the bottom of it," and it went off. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> do you have to serve it yourself, or do they serve no, it? No, they for serve you? it. To, it's, it's just put it on bank next. It's all card, no cash. You're not allowed no to pay cash. cash. Bang, 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 out. Really? Yeah, really good. Best by a country man. Mm. By a country man. How many? How many does it hold? Yeah, you know, that's a good question. That, but I think it's sold out every game. Mm. Regardless. But what's been the worst ground you've been to? Ooh, that is a question. Not say on road either, man. I can't say. <laughs> that, no. Well, because we've been in Premier and now championship again there's there's not many bad grounds if i'm honest with you yeah in old days they were, they were bad when you had to stand in and and all that but like like brentford on saturday which i, I didn't go but i beat at brentford you just be on sticks but probably the best the worst seating were burnley when you go behind sticks at burnley it's all wooden seats still Is it? in the premier league and they've got wooden seats you know it's a bit painful when you're watching yeah we, you stand up anyway don't you but mm. but i've been doing Huddersfield for 80 83 i think the first one if i remember correctly do you but, um, miss many games? I do now. Which we'll you used to go on. home and away, yeah. didn't you? Like, I've got a season ticket. But, um, my favourite is, is England, if I'm honest with you, because the, the old debate is what's, what, what's, what's better, club or country? Mm. Mm-hmm. Right, and I've always said this since eight. Well, my first England game was 1990, in the uh, World Cup in 1990. And uh, I went with this field then, and it was in Sardinia. It was a little island off Italy. And we played uh, Ireland. Egypt and Holland in Sardinia and then I come back and then I went back out for um quarters and semis but um England from from that I've always preferred internationals I've never been to a, a, the only time I've ever been to an international game I used to work at Leeds United I was 13 and I had to pass I think I, I, I don't remember being 12 or 13 about 96 uh, and I had to pass to be a certain age to do it, so I had to lie. But they don't have any checks then, you know, like what your age is and stuff. So I kind of, because I was quite tall, I just said, oh, yeah, well, like, I don't know how old it was, yeah, 15 or 16. Pies. Selling pies behind stand, but my mum worked there, my grandma worked there. So they used to sell pies behind stand. And uh, when match kicked off, nobody really wanted to buy a pie because they wanted to watch the game. So my mum used to let me go watch the game, and it was the season that we won the league. Uh, there, but it, moving on to '96, we had the Euro '96 one at the time, and the, we, I think we had France, Spain in this group. That's right, cause the, uh, and then it, we got beat mm. penalties in five, uh, West Germany, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I, I've only missed since 1990 South Korea, what England have been involved with. Really? Only tournament. Because um, it's funny because um, it was in uh, Ukraine. Um, I think I was 212 of McCrelly. Don't go to Ukraine, they'll kill you. All racist, they'll batter you. <laughs> Don't go. Straight to get my ticket, off I go. I mean, on my own. <laughs> Not bothered. Not bothered, right? Gets to Ukraine, friendliest people you could meet. Friendliest people you could meet. And, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of, of England fans. And, uh, but again, and then, worst one was, was Russia. So mm. they said, Don't go to Russia, though. I went to France. Mm. For Euros, and I went there, uh, sitting in this camper van, me and me, 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 me pals were. We went out there, obviously, all trouble in France, you see mm. all that in Marseille, didn't you? Yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. Obviously, I, uh, I didn't go to that game, but we went for it after. Don't go, they'll kill you, blah, blah, blah. Again, couldn't do enough for you. And it was the time, I think it was the World War Memorial, I think it was 100 years, if I'm not mistaken, mm. at the Cenotaph. And, and um, it was 2014, it might have been World War One. then, might what it, 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 it was a hundred years or something, and it were, it were next few weeks, so there was big parades going on for mm. it. So we we, did, we got we had bikes in this camper van and we went to see it all. But anyway, go, goes to Russia in of a few, what last year or year before? Don't go to Russia, don't go to Russia. No, who wants to go to Russia? Nobody wants to go to Russia. Let's go then, <laughs> I've got me on, <laughs> not a problem. 
So I'll get my tickets. But I don't know if you're seeing it on. But, um, I watched you. Every time you put a post on, uh, I always well, see Well, they said, th- this is what makes it worse, is uh, booking.com. I thought, well, where do I go here? Mm. I go in an hostel. <laughs> I thought, I'll go in an hostel. In Russia? In Russia. And I thought, anyway, this bloke says, oh, come and stay with us in my family. And I went, why not? If I get killed, I get killed. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I've gone to Russia. Well, there's somebody at work at Morley who um, is Russian. And she was, obviously this guy, in Russia, nobody speaks English. Nobody speaks English. So this, this last was talking to this Russian lad in Russian. And tell him, I'm, I'm at Rawson, and he's going, blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> so everything in Russia, you got to Moscow. England played in Volgograd. And then it were um, Nitsinovgorod and then Kalingorod. So I've, I'm thinking, I'm a bit of a line I've got shit myself, but I remember going, going to on plane to Moscow and I was the first one there from England. And I thought, if I'm going to get battered, I'm going to get battered properly. So I had this England tracksuit on, England suitcase with St. George's <laughs> family. <laughs> and I thought, if I'm, I'm going to stick out here like I thought, but if I'm going to get hammered, I'm going to get hammered. And uh, so I guess to Rush, I guess to Moscow, England says, yeah, go on. <laughs> And, and the, this guy's there waiting for me. I'm thinking, what do I do now? I can't speak to him. Mm. Hello, Mark. Mark. Oh, yeah. So we had this uh, phone with the uh, translation on it. Okay. So, hello. Go back in Russia. <laughs> so that, that, <laughs> offer, that's how we communicate. So, off we go in this car, mile after mile. I'm thinking, oh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. You're I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> anyway. Were well, you genuinely I'm thought, I've, 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 it, worried? I was, I was laughing to myself going, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead here. And nobody's going to know where I am. Well, might he have come back? He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. So it'd have been a nice funeral that with I'm not there somewhere in Russia. So we get to his house. We get, we get to the game. But Volgograd is a very historic World mm. War town. I think a million people died in, this, in, in World War One, I, I think it was. And they had this... Um, do you remember, the, do you remember um, there were a, a woman with a sword? Yeah. And it, this, this statue meant this is like... You know what it is, so he showed me this. And there were Sky Sports are nearby. Sky Sports as so I had England, I had, I had my, my big flag, my town flag. So he says, um, England? Yeah, I says, yeah. So it's, it's, this is Sky Sports, can we do an interview with you? I said, well, you can't speak that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I first one there from England at this Volgograd. And uh, I, I, he says, right, don't swear, it up. you're going to be live in front of millions here. So I'm there live on Sky Sports. <laughs> Just and thinking, you're just I, about gonna die. Thought, but no, th- this is in Volgograd now, yeah. so it, it you was felt more safer. Tourist, it, tourist is there. And I just said, look, everybody's t- they've been told not to come because there's gonna be all the hooligans there, blah blah blah. And it was best, best well, the best World Cup I've been to by a country. What man. just? What's it like in Russia? Is it still like it's a, a communist? It's a communist, state? very poor. Is it? They're like thirty years behind everything. Right. Like I think the best car was a Lada. And they thought that it would have got I'm thinking, all right, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm not a okay, man, right? But it, it were very poor, but they were hard working people, you know what I mean? Yeah. But none of them could speak English, so I had this translation for them going around, and it, and it was brilliant. Did they look after you? Yeah. Yep. Nice yep. Vodka. Every, everything they had was vodka. <laughs> Breakfast, vodka. Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I says, no, get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And then don't, don't look off. off. But yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Still keep in contact with him now on Facebook, yeah. He's I think I remember you posting a post about him as well. Brilliant, brilliant fella. Call him Alex, but obviously it's short for one of his names. <laughs> you know I mean? but, but yeah, brilliant. So that were, yeah, so there's, um, it's funny because obviously now you've got all this racism now in football and that. And hmm. It's funny because in South Africa in 2010, the only time I've had racism was in South Africa 2010. 